That's me, Lance. I tie flies and am the creator of this channel. And today I'm tying the boo face. If you are new to my channel and love to tie flies, click subscribe and hit the bell to stay notified of when I upload content. That's me, and this is my vice. In its jaws, I've placed a size 4 TMC200R that has a 532nd inch bead on it. For thread, I am using Olive 6 aught Unithread, which I will start behind the bead of the fly. After the thread has been secured to the shank, I cut the tag of thread from the fly and continue wrapping the thread around the shank to the bend of the hook. Once the thread reaches its destination, I'll take a squirrel zonker strip and pull about an eighth of an inch of fur from the front of the strip. Then I place this exposed section of squirrel hide along the hook and against the bead. Then with moistened fingers, I split the hair on the hide at just above the bar in two sections. Then with tight wraps of thread, I secure the squirrel strip to the hook at above the barb and at the point of the V. Now that the squirrel has been secured to the back of the hook, I fold a section of the squirrel that is sitting on top of the fly over itself and behind the fly with my material hand. While holding this section of squirrel over itself, I take my bobbin and wrap the thread around the shank up to about an eye length behind the eye. Then I bring the squirrel back over the fly and pinch it to the hook just behind the exposed squirrel hide and secure the exposed squirrel hide to the hook with tight wraps of thread. Now I take two strands of flashaboo from the hank and using thread securely tie them to the fly so that half the strand flows over the front and back of the fly. Once the flashaboo is secured to the hook, I tie two of the strands so they sit flowing along the near side of the hook and tie the other two strands so they sit flowing along the far side of the hook. Now that the body of the fly has been completed, I take a marabou feather and with the tips above the point of the fly, I measure it to the front of the fly. With my material hand, I pinch the marabou to the hook just behind the bead and secure the marabou to the front of the fly with thread wraps. Now I will repeat this process for the bottom half of the fly. After the marabou has been tied to the bottom of the fly, I cut the butt ends of both the top and bottom piece of marabou from the fly as close to the shank as I can without cutting the thread. Then I cover the leftover exposed butts with thread. To create the collar, I use squirrel fibers that I have pulled off a zonker strip and twist the fibers on the thread as dubbing. Then I wrap the dub thread around the hook until the collar has been created. After a nice ball of collar has been wrapped around the fly, I apply a bit of head cement to the thread directly below the fly. Then apply a couple three turn whip finishes on the fly and cut the thread. I, I fold the squirrel strip over the front of the fly and cut the hide at a shank length. Then I cut the flashy boo just a little longer than the tail. This is the boo face. John Barr's boo face is an awesome streamer that is easy to tie, swims beautifully in the water, and flat out catches fish. Let me know in the comments below what you think about the boo face. If you like to tie streamers like the boo face, check out my streamer playlist at the top right. Or you can watch me tie the slump buster, another streamer created by John Barr below that. Thanks for watching. Now go feed your vice.